Hello! How's it going? Okay, I think I am mostly set up. The camera is weirdly high, but I guess I will figure that out. I think it'll get lower once we switch over to the other view. Uh, how are you guys going today? Let's wait for everybody to arrive and hopefully James can check in and see if the levels are particularly ideal. <laughs> going good. <laughs> Levels are really ideal. Well, that's good. Let me just put up my stuff. Done. One of these days I will become very organized and then I will have all of this stuff done in advance but today is not that day. But on the plus side I have a nice cup of tea in my Team Bulbasaur mug <laughs> and we will have a fun time. So I'm not sure what we'll play today. I figured we could start off with Animal Crossing. Um, hang on, can I just move this whole thing up? There we go. That's much better. Um, yeah, so I thought we could start with some Animal Crossing and finally see if Fauna is in her damn house uh, so we can view her amazing makeover that we did uh, the other day. Um, another option is we could check in. I managed to get my DS hooked up for streaming, so we could check in on my old Animal Crossing um, village, town. What was it in New Leaf? I think it was just a town but yeah we could check in there uh, and see what's going on uh, I'm gonna assume it's nothing good considering how long it's been if it's been a year for New Horizons it's been a lot longer than a year for New Leaf <laughs> even though to be fair I did go back to New Leaf after New Horizons after I got a bit bored of it mm, good tea James um, and we're expecting a package later, so we might have to take a little bit of a break. Um, I could also do some more portraits and whatnot, seeing as that went so well the other day. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, actually, maybe I won't be able to do that, because I think I have to hook everything up before I start OBS, otherwise it, it has a bit of a tantrum. So anyway, let's see if I can... Um, worried that I've left it too long and it's gonna go to sleep now. I'm also worried that my controller doesn't have very much charge so let me just plug that in. What plug is this? 17 million plugs. That is the wrong plug. I know I have a USB-C plug around here somewhere. Let's put this on to charge and see if we can't get Animal Crossing. Oh no, it's all doing stuff now. I don't want it to do stuff. I just want to play Switch. Okay. We'll switch over and see if it is working. And if not, I'll figure that out. Hey! Please still be connected. It is not connected. Okay. Unplug. Come on. Hey. Okay, well, I guess I was still in my house yesterday. I didn't close out. So how's your day going? <laughs> this week has felt like it's been, like, really long and also really, um short it's been a weird one I think I can still hear you tippy tapping away back there your latest latest fired thingy is up real hot oh yeah it is <laughs> latest, latest friend. Yes, 
Okay, let's fix that. Uh, there it is. There we go, that's a bit better. Hi, Isabel. Oh crap, I didn't switch my stream information. Oops. Okay, a cozy time. Playing Animal Crossing and chill games. Are we still in Animal Crossing? Let's have a cozy afternoon together. I think that's probably okay. Okay, update, update, update. That's my bad. I forgot to update it before I went live. <laughs> Doritos. Perfect little snowflakes dancing through the air. Well, that sounds lovely. I didn't think any of the snowflake stuff was very good last time there. Like, I don't know if it was good enough to actually bother trying to collect it. Ming, okay. Ooh, a gift from Biedo. Dear Hashtag. I really wish they'd stop calling me Hashtag. They say that there's a hat for every head and I think I found the one for you. I bought it the instant I saw it and I knew I'd be sending it to you. Can't wait to see you try it on. Well, let's have a look at this. And... The remodel you pitched for Julian's home is now complete. Awesome. I can't wait to see his face. Okay. Open my present. I don't know what hat this is. That is a hat. Mmm. Thanks, Peter. That... That's, a uh, Just my style. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna stick with the wig, but I appreciate the thought. Okay, let's go see Julian's house first. And he is obviously not home. Uh, but at least his house is nice. Hey, Fauna is home! Yeah, okay, okay. Now we're cooking. Damn it, I spelt together wrong in my go live notification. Together. Wow. What a beautiful house you're sleeping in, Fauna. Uh, I see that you're sleeping standing up. Is it because there's no space for you to walk anywhere? Or is it because you're so bored of this design because we got rid of the, the hat table? Not enough harps. Yeah, okay, no, that's fair. There is only one half, and I'm sure Fawn is very disappointed. Let's chat. That's pretty cute. <laughs> A treat for the eyes and the tummy. See, there's plenty of space here. It's not overly cluttered. I don't know what you guys were talking about the other day. There's exactly enough space for her to access three areas. And that's all you need. You know, house prices these days are very expensive. And maybe if Fauna wants a bigger house, she's going to have to work for it. You know, Okairi is an expensive area. How's Eric doing? My salsa is your salsa? Free salsa? Quick, get your Doritos! 
That is not lovely. So Eric's one that I actually really like the design that I did on. <laughs> Mega Doritos. I feel like it fits quite nicely. I don't think he's got much use for those skis though. His house is very uncluttered. He also doesn't have a toilet, but you know, uh, I feel like we don't need to talk about that. That is an Eric problem. He can go outside in the woods like a regular deer. I don't know what to do with the rest of this village, to be honest. Oh, I wonder if our money tree's grown yet. Free bells. Oh, it's common in the house. nice yeah i don't know what to do with this because like i like that it comes to like a central area here where i can put like a fountain and stuff or a little gazebo or something something cutesy like that but i feel like everything else is very crowded they don't have very much space for backyard but i'm also not really sure how i would um fix that why did it get super wintry i don't know the date is right I mean, it's February. Maybe this is like the last winter storm before it springs up a bit. How seas are going. Should I move the camera and everything to the other side so it's not like blocking UI? It's hard because there's UI on both sides. It's all good. It's all good. Remember Julian out here shopping in a bathroom? What you doing? To buy or not to buy? Doesn't really go with the aesthetic that I spent all the other day crafting for you. So I'm going to say you shouldn't buy that. So I feel like as a comparison now, we should definitely go back to the uh, New Leaf version. Just so we can see what would be missing. What is this abomination? I am very curious as to what is going on with that. It's classy. I mean, that's one word for it. Festivale costume. Ah, I see, the sequins. It was like, is it a Christmas tree? It kind of looks like you were the Christmas tree. Ah, we got horned ogre mask for Setsubun. Yeah, let's take one of those. Demons out, lock in. And hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's go and switch to the other Animal Crossing. Uh, let me just switch up here. Animal Crossing. Money tree. Oh, okay, okay. Get the money tree and then we'll switch to um, New Leaf. We'll do a tour of that village. And then... Oh, and there's no money yet. Or oh, there's no money at all. No, it looks small. Yeah, maybe it has one more day. It looks real small. Come on, give me the money. I would have laughed real hard if these had come out that time. So yeah, let's go to my original Animal Crossing um, 
thingy and then we'll get some ideas from the decor and everything and we'll come back here and see how far Animal Crossing has come in the many years the many many years we waited and we'll do that in just a minute after I've gotten all of these the problem it sucks you in it sucks you in and you're like oh, okay just just need to pick up these shells just use something with all of these gyroids too because I don't really want them in my house but I don't know what to do with them I could like line the back of the island like Easter Island style but just gyroids along the back oh dear <laughs> gyrate with them yes perfection Okay, let's switch over and see whether we can get the DS working. This seems like very precarious with like cables and shit everywhere. I will just pause menu here and we will come back to you. Okay, let's see if this works. I forgot that James had a um, player in this town too. Why did you have a player? Good morning, Isabel. I think actually, I think I made you the player because I um, just needed someone to, to like go through. Oh, we're, we're in uh, May 2041 currently. Uh, yeah, I guess we will. Oh, let me get the chat down here. That's a bit better. It has been forever. <laughs> Thanks, Isabel. Like two years. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> I'm wearing a wig though, so you can't tell. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no, don't yell at me. Uh, I don't remember. You really don't remember? I ain't no detective or nothing. Uh, I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't have time traveled uh, here currently. Can't hold any more letters, oh no. What is all of this junk? Okay, okay. I forgot that letters were separate. What is this? Post office. Post office. Post office. Give me all these presents. I wonder what they are. Oh, these are all my tools. I put tools on the the letters so that we could get more fish. We had to bring fish back. Okay, hang on. You have to throw away all the letters. Did it just say you got 19,000 bells in interest? I don't know. Hang on. Which one was it? I feel like I should read these differently. Post office. 6,000 bells in interest. 12,000 bells. 19,000 bells? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Clearly it has been a while. Julian, since I was born a while ago on the 15th of the 3rd, I'll be throwing a party at my house and I really want you to come. You wouldn't deny me my one birthday wish, would you? His one birthday wish? All those Mother's Day presents you've given me over the years, I've kept each and every one of them. Okay, the sound that it makes when it does that is so satisfying. 99,999 bells interest! Oh my god. How much money do I have? Present from my mom. 
Present from my dad. What kind of interest rate is that? The kind that happens when you, you leave the game for like 40 years. I don't know why the date is so far forward. Carnation and red carnation. Cute. Okay, well, I guess let's look at my house first and we'll get rid of all of those cockroaches. Because <laughs> you know it's going to be full of them. I don't know why, but I find um, this is much more soothing uh, in decoration. Even though it's not as, like, you know, nice. High res. It's very unhigh res. But look at my sweet white Christmas tree. Isn't that awesome? And I got a whole kitchen going on here. Took me so long to find any kitchen things in uh, New Horizons. Oh, did I save the tags? I don't think I did. Oh, with my weird garden. Garden room. Everyone has a garden room, right? It's lovely. And you can't actually get to anything. But it's beautiful. It's not as polished. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not as polished, but for some reason I find that nicer. It's more cozy. When everything... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I like the DS better than the Switch too. Okay, the bathroom I've got going on here is definitely not as good as the bathroom from, from my New Horizons house. But it does have a tea set, so there's that. What bathroom doesn't need a tea set? Sometimes you want to have a cup of tea while you're in the bath. And I'm not going to get up and go all the way to my giant kitchen. That's just crazy talk. Oh, James, that's the dog bell. I guess our package is here. This is exciting. Please don't fall over when you run out. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm very excited about this package uh, and I'll show you guys when it arrives. Um, and it's not exciting at all and you're probably gonna be like, why, why are you so excited for this nonsense? And now Lottie's gonna freak out because James has to go out and get the package. Hang on, let me grab some treats. Buddy. Oh no, where did the stream go? Uh oh. That's not good. Buddy, come. Good girl. I'll give her some treats while I wait for. Her. Oh no, where did it go? <laughs> it's still there, why aren't you here? Mm. No. We're on the right stream, right? Did I move it? Well, this isn't great. <laughs> Hang on, if I make noise, does it, is it still coming through? Yeah, okay, the noise is still coming through. So the stream is still coming through. It's just gone invisible for a minute. Okay, I can figure this out. Let's try. No. What happened? Oh no. Oh. I found it. I found <laughs> I need to come up with a way to do this a little bit better. Maybe I can do two of them. And I'll put this one bigger here so you can see what's going on. And then I will paste the second one over here. Smaller for the bottom screen. Because you really don't need to see the bottom screen that well. Okay. 
Yes, very professional I am. In fact, let me just transform, edit, transform, top. This is a very thrilling stream. It's going really well today. Uh, so please enjoy looking at my sweet trophies. What is the garage icon on the touch screen? Um, that's a good question. Give me two seconds. And I just am trying to figure out the best way to crop this. I'm pretty sure that was the storage thing that they, they added like as a DLC ages after the original New Leaf deal. Uh, transform. There we go, that's cropped. Pretty okay, pretty okay. And now let me grab the bottom one too. Sorry, I really should have been better prepared for this, shouldn't I? Um, but it's that kind of a week. I just got back into New Leaf, again, New Leaf again and I missed out on the Amiibo update. Honestly, it's pretty good. Um, I haven't played for a really long time. Oh, I'm editing the wrong one again, aren't I? No, I'm not. Um, I would recommend getting, um, can you still download it? Like, can you still get the DLC? Like, surely you'd be able to, right? There we go. That looks a little bit better. Um, let's open it up anyway. And I will, um, show you what it looks like. Most copies come with the update. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. So garage door icon, if I click E, um, this is, yeah, my storage area. So, and I think they give you extra storage too at some point with the DLC. Um, and yeah, I basically just put, I should probably put all of these. I organized it a little bit better, um, but I haven't been here for so long. So these were all my seedlings and I previously had them arranged by like type and whatnot. But you can see they only give you like nine rows of stuff, which is not very many. I started playing it again and I have all the amiibo cards, so I'm excited. Can you decorate like in the happy home designer? No. So the decoration system here is is much trickier from what I remember. Here, let me just put away some of my um these extra flowers. I'll just dump them here for now. Um yeah, I think it's all manual. So this is if I click this side. It comes up with like this little extra bottom screen thing and you can sort of click and drag to move things around here but it's not anywhere near as like precise I guess as happy home designer and you can't decorate the interiors um, or anything like that maybe this is the same as the happy home designer on DS I can't remember if I ever actually played that one yes you're right. I am thinking. I'm thinking of the new version of it. Yeah, because I started playing that again the other um the other day with New Horizons. All of the names are so similar. Happy Home Paradise is Switch. Okay, okay. Yes, Happy Home Paradise is Switch. Happy Home Designer is DS. So yeah, it's probably exactly the same then. Um, I know. I do remember them giving all of these sort of extra options on the DLC. For this and having to do all my original decorating just with like the drag system doing this over and over and over again and it was so frustrating especially on the rooms where there's like not very much space because you couldn't sort of like get the the aerial view but this is much easier not as easy as happy home paradise the new whichever it's not as easy as the new one but it's still it's like definitely better than this yeah turning objects was so annoying Especially because, like, like you do get this, but I tend to, like, I always manage to do it the wrong way and then have everything, yeah, the extra grab. 
<laughs> exactly. I'm trying to remember what I actually kept down here. It's so sad that I have so much better items in this than I have in New Horizons. And I spent so much time in New Horizons, but I never ended up with any good items. And I don't know if it's just because there's not very many good items there, but mm, there's so much more furniture than New Horizon. New Leaf still has its charm, right? I honestly, I find New Leaf to be a much more chill experience than um, New Horizons. I don't know if that's just because I played it first and so it's got like that nice nostalgia kick to it or if it's actually because it's a lot better but I don't know I have better memories in it I think when because New Horizons came out like pandemic-ish and I spent you know two months doing nothing but it um it mm, it's got like that sort of thing going on oh package time thank you um could you please yep. <laughs> I don't want to talk to myself <laughs> More daily things to do in New Leaf. New Horizon, just the better creative mode, but it lacks the community. I agree. And honestly, I feel like the animals don't have as much personality in New Horizons. Like, I know a lot of people say that, but I kind of miss them being a little bit mean sometimes. It made making friends with them, like, feel a lot more satisfying. I thought so anyway. Especially because, like, my first two villages in New Leaf was, was um, the... Uh, it was Rory and Caesar, and Caesar was so mean to me <laughs> that I like made it my life mission to make him like me. I was like, I'm not leaving here until we're best friends. <laughs> More daily things to New and Leaf uh, do in New Leaf, but sadly, New Leaf also doesn't have better dialogue. Yeah, I don't know. Some of the dialogue in New Leaf is kind of weird, but I think I do still prefer it to New Horizons. Okay, so this was my bedroom, and I think I hadn't done very much decorating up here. Try Wild World, or the population growing. I do have a Wild World save, but I never um, got very far into it. <laughs> the rude villagers will roast you. <laughs> Yay! Oh, package time. Okay, okay. Let me just pop this down here. I have seen so many screenshots, though, of, like, um, of, of like mean villager things from... Wild world, or is it is is the population growing city life or is that a separate one? I can't remember. But there's so much less character customization in those ones too, right? You kind of are stuck with your your villager style. It's the GameCube one. Oh man, I don't have a GameCube. I really want to get one, but they're so expensive at the moment. At least here in Australia, it's like several hundred dollars for a GameCube. So it's been like on my list for a while to like try and upgrade, but oh well, downgrade, I guess. So this is my package that I have just gotten and it is very, very heavy. So I'm gonna try and open it without injuring myself on stream, which is a bit tricky. They've not aged well. GameCube haven't aged well or just the general sort of the dialogue in those ones. Oh my God. <laughs> these are heavy and big in general so I ordered like two kilos or one kilo of alfalfa seeds and one kilo of oh my god oh, kick that off my desk thank you um pea seeds for sprouting I'm making sprouts on my windowsill and it's been so good I love being able to like just watch them grow and then eat them and have a constant like stream of sprouts for lunch every day, 10 out of 10, recommend, because they grow really quick too. So you just soak them in water for a little while and then stick them in a jar and like swish it around a couple of times a day with more water. I don't think actually seeing inside the seeds would be very easy, uh, would be very interesting, but now I have two kilos of seeds, so I'm very happy. It's a good mail day. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, I think I, I definitely want to get a GameCube and like I know you can emulate and whatnot, but I feel like it's more fun when you're playing on the original system. I just am waiting for like a good deal. <laughs> it's tricky because so so much of like the retro stuff got popular again um, during the pandemic. So all the prices here have gone way up. Oh, I forgot you could play the little claw machine. It's so cute.
At least Animal game Crossing games aren't that expensive. Yeah, very true. <laughs> Harvest Moon and uh, Story of Seasons. Oh, and I had Rory and Caesar's photo. Memories. Um, Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons as well aren't too expensive in terms of like retro games, which is good. I managed to pick up um, Harvest Moon DS a little while ago for quite inexpensive. So now I'm like thinking of figuring out how to stream that. I got to change the channel on my TVs. You can't change the channel on them. They're stuck like that. Depends what time of day it is. Only things that went up in value is Mario, Zelda and Pokemon. Very true. Man, if I could go back in time and stop myself from, you know, selling all of my old Game Boy stuff, I, I'm sure I'd be a rich person. <laughs> oh, Leaf is here. What are you doing, Leaf? I don't think there's going to be any weeds in my uh, town because there's just overrun with flowers. There are so many. <laughs> weeds everywhere. Why isn't your town full of snow? Uh, the time on it is incorrect. I'd forgotten that I had been time traveling uh, like a naughty person um, and didn't set the time backwards. And now I'm a little scared to set the time backwards because I don't want to lose any villages. For shame. <laughs> yeah, so it currently thinks it's like 2041 right now. Definitely for shame. And Rossetti was mad at me too when I opened it as well. How about we all work together? The Guardian of Weeding may forgive us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Futuristic. You'll lose a villager every time. Exactly, and I've got everyone that I want, so I don't want to have to, to redo it, so I'm just stuck here in 2041. Living in the future, damn it! <laughs> it took me so long to, to collect everyone. Oh, we're doing the weeding right now. Uh-oh. Okay, just give me a second to complete this weeding. I'm not sure where weeds could possibly be because from memory it is full of flowers everywhere. Literally everywhere. There are no free spaces. But apparently there's 65 weeds. Where are all the weeds? <gasps> Leaf's gonna be mad at me if I don't get them. Oh my god, they're all in the river! <laughs> Yeah, okay. This, this, I forgot that this save file may be edited. <laughs> it's been so long. Okay, I'm very bad. All of my weeds are in the river and I'm not going to be able to pull any of them because there are none. Oh, leaf's going to be bad. Okay, well, we'll just run out the clock then. Oh, wait, no, it's going up. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to win this. I'm going to have to, <laughs> I'm going to have to go back <laughs> and tell him that I quit. That's even more shame! <laughs> Leaf's gonna be so disappointed in me, and that's worse than when he's mad. <laughs> new Leaf isn't like New Horizon, they'll randomly leave. Uh, you have to constantly pay play for them to stay, and if one of your dreamies leaves, you have to do the 10 villager cycle. <laughs> I know, right? I'm gonna be stuck in the future forever. I feel like I vaguely remember that you could time travel backwards, just not forwards without them leaving. So maybe I could do like one final jump to the correct time. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Apparently we quit. We just, we quit. Ah, uh, my big tree. Oh, you went backwards and lost a villager? Oh no. That's so stressful. I feel like that was that was definitely the worst part of New Leaf, like the villager system, and the fact that you couldn't like check where they lived. Oh, I forgot about the um, police station. Yeah, having them like randomly move in to to some completely irritating place in your town was so frustrating. I got so mad that I deleted my town and made a new one. <laughs> I'll be honest, at that point, I, I may, if I lost someone specific, I may have uh, checked online how to um, do some careful editing. <laughs> I was very devastated the first time because I had Caesar and Julian and they were becoming very close friends. Uh, and Julian had mentioned that he was going to buy a car with Caesar. 
and it was lovely. And then the next day, Julian was gone. It was very upsetting, and I learned my lesson. Everyone that plays New Leaf uses Vape Court anyway. <laughs> I am not sure what that is, but I'll have to look it up afterwards. We have an extremely rare zero lamp for sale. Don't miss out. Why would you miss out? Our cheap plugin. Fair, fair, fair. I don't think I've tried that one. I used to do the save file editing, but I'm not sure what it was called. Julian's asleep. Typical Julian. Let's you edit your game. Oh, live. Damn, okay. That would be really good. I remember having to do everything like in the individual edits and like you had to like upload it and then choose things oh it was like a web editor version you can move the buildings oh that's a dream i can move some of these houses to less irritating places oh the game thinks it's early that's why everyone's asleep you can do that in new horizon if your switch is hacked ah fair I would love a cup of coffee, Brewster. Brewster is my favorite out of everyone in all games. And I was very disappointed in New Horizon that it took them so long to add him back because Brewster is beautiful. On the 3DS. Yeah, yeah, I managed to get it all hooked up for streaming. It took a shockingly long time. <laughs> Always drink the coffee hot. It's what Brewster would want. That's something special. I, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to um, say directly, but there are ways that you can um, do everything wirelessly. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so you can get it going wirelessly or partially wirelessly. Yeah, I know, right? I wish it was uh, easier to talk about stuff like that without the fear of um, <laughs> getting getting struck down. <laughs> wow. Not capture quality, yeah. It does suck, and having to um, pick uh, which screen to prioritize is very frustrating. So the, the lower screen is going to be a bit slow today because I'm prioritizing the top screen. I would really like a capture card, but trying to get one these days is really tricky. Oh, can I catch a butterfly? Yeah, okay, let, let's find a butterfly for, for Molly. I know, they're so expensive. And so many of the companies or the people that make them have gone under. I was looking in it last week and I could only find one place that was still selling them, like actually actively selling them. Okay, finding a butterfly. Um, and even then, with the conversions and the shipping and everything, it was going to be close to $200 Australian. And on top of that, the installation was not so good like i can solder fine and i'm comfortable taking things apart but ooh, it looked tricky ribbon cables and having to cut your own ribbon cable oh no it seems to have just frozen itself oh we're back okay yeah it looked ex pretty advanced like i've done modding before but oh, you love your 3ds i'm scared to do it same oh there's a butterfly there's a butterfly Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Yay! It's the model I always wanted. The the 3DS. Oh, you, you've got, like, a, a specific model. I've just got the basic one, but I customized the... Um, like, I've got the new 3DS, like, just a plain white one. But I customized the uh, cover. I don't think my cable will reach. Hang on. I customized the cover and painted it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah custom plates. So mine is like 90s style because I painted everything. So what did you do with your custom plates? Do you have some cool ones? Expensive. Yeah. 
Very expensive. What what kind of custom customization did you do? There we go. Take your butterfly. I looked into getting um, another one specifically so that I could do the capture card modding and not be worried about breaking this one. But oh my god, they're so expensive too. Like, I was looking at secondhand ones on eBay and it was like $250. I'm like, I don't think I paid that new for this. Oh, you printed a design? That's very cool. It's nice having the option to customize stuff. And I like that you can switch out the plates so that you can have a couple of versions of it. What other villages do we have? I think this is Beardo's house. Oh, Carmen. So, down on this side. Oh, this was my fruit tree. I wish they had more different fruit in New Horizons too. I always wondered why they took so much stuff like that out. The lame part of CFW streaming is you can't connect online. Ah, I know, right? Otherwise we could have like, um, dream stuff. The peach really looks like butts in this version. This is James's house. Uh, I kind of think your house looks like butts. <laughs> it's very pumpkin themed, but I suppose that's very you, isn't it? I can't even get through to your back room because you've got so much junk in here. And you don't have a basement, but you do have an upper area. It would be nice to do uh, like the online connection. Wow. Wow. That is some attic. Not murdering people at all, huh? Are the cube? Let me have a look. Cube with a question mark. This one? Oh, Jack in the Box. <laughs> That's cute. I guess it's a Halloween thing? I don't remember seeing that before. What's this book with a question mark? I like how the instruction manual is on the ground. Oh, it's the manual. <laughs> I guess this is where we were just dumping stuff. Why don't I ever get to have a basement? <laughs> because you don't stick with the game long enough. If you stick with the game, instead of just, you know, coming in to farm fish, then you would be able to have nice things. Oh, we have like a little zen garden. That's sweet. And no one's in the campsite. I feel like the frame rate is starting to lag a bit. That's okay. Oh, this is quite sweet. I don't remember doing this. I wonder where I got that from. Let's go have a look at the beach. I remember the beach being a lot cuter because there was a secret island. Congrats on hitting 50 followers, by the way. Thank you! Very appreciated. You can overclock your 3DS to get improved frame rate, but it's still meh. Uh, I should give it a go, though. Is it particularly difficult? I mean, it can't be harder than just, like, generally modding, right? My my dream project, and I've seen a couple of other people do this online, to be honest, is to buy uh, bypass the whole um, capture card thing and make a custom um, board to be able to do it myself. I think that would be a really fun project, to be honest. L down and select. Oh, I might give that a try later then. I don't want to mess up the stream because it was so precarious. Like everything on here is very precarious. So I'm worried that if I mess something up, the entire thing is like, could it stop working? <laughs> but yeah, I would really, really love to um, give making my own um, PC, PCB boards. I don't know what you call them. I'm not good with names, but I am good with making the electronics. <laughs> but yeah, I think that would be a really fun project. It would be really tricky being able to like get the right things to uh, decode the visual and the audio stuff. But I feel like it's doable that you'd be able to bypass having to have the... Oh, uh, Reese isn't open yet. Oh, I really wanted to see Reese. 
Um, yeah, to bypass having to have the audio plugged in too. Maybe we can just go to the island. I remember the island being fine. Because I don't think any of the other uh, shops are going to be open yet either. Don't break your circuits, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what had me uh, worried about the other capture cards having to solder a... I think it's full. Okay, I'm going to dump all the shells and we'll go to the island. Because you can go to the island without having to online connect, right? Putting your voltmeter in the wrong position to the parallel. <laughs> uh, tricky. That's why, yeah, I wanted to get a donor system to be able to experiment on. But I think it's going to be out of budget for a while, which sucks. No space. Oh, I forgot that you could only put things in a square around you. Everything was much more grid based. Okay, let's get us a sea shanty. I've got the bells. Have you seen the Horizon style of decorating? Like New Horizon? 